Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about jump lists, uh, what they are and how to manage them, how to clear them out, that kind of thing. So a jump list is kind of like a history from a particular app. So let's say you have Microsoft Word and you wanted to see which files you've recently opened. Of course you could open the uh, app itself and then go to your file and open and check it that way. Or you could right click on it from your taskbar and then you could see your documents here and you could actually open them from the jump list. Same with um, Edge. It's like that, and even File Explorer, you can see what folders you've opened and so on. But you'll notice when you try and do it from the desktop, you don't have that option to see your recent files. And also, if you go to Start, you'll notice you don't have that option to do that. But if you go to your All Apps, then you'll have the same options. So two places you could do it, from the taskbar if you haven't pinned, and then also from the... Uh, all apps into the start menu here. And also, by the way, if even if they're not pinned, if you have something open, let's say you open Excel here, and once it's open on the taskbar, you can right-click it and see your list there. But if you close it, then it's obviously going to be removed from the taskbar, and then you can't look at it, at least from the uh, taskbar, because it's not pinned. But one little trick you could do too, let's say you want to pin it to the taskbar because normally you can't do that. But if you open it, and then you'll have the option to pin to taskbar, and then you close it, and now it's pinned. Okay, so that's what the jump lists do. So let's say you want to uh, keep some certain keep certain items there for good because once you start opening more items, they're going to get you know refreshed with the uh, more recent items, but if you use this little pin here, then that's pinned, so that way when you uh, open some other items in the recent section, that's going to keep changing while the pinned item is going to stay there. All right, so you can do that for all these items. So now we can talk about clearing your jump list. Obviously, you could go in here and right-click and remove from the list and that kind of thing, but if you want to turn this feature off or clear it, you could go to the... Uh, personalization settings from the settings here. And then you want to go to the start menu. And now you have these choices here. So recently open, show recently open items and start, jump list and file explorer. So this will apply to the jump list and also to your uh, section here under recommended and all these this history of recommended options here. So if you turn this off, that's going to get rid of the recent documents. Now we can see we just have programs, not documents. We just I did a video on how to clear all this out, but you could turn off the programs there. And now you notice too, if you right click, now your uh, jump lists are cleared out as well. And then if you turn it back on, you'll get your documents back here, but your jump list remains clear. So it's just a quick way if you want to just clear them out real quick, and then you could either leave this off and not have your history stay there or you could just turn it off and back on and then start over again so once again just right click from the taskbar or from your all apps here and then you'll be uh, all good to go here and you'll notice the pinned one didn't get cleared because it was pinned it was not under recent so if you want to just pin stuff here and just have everything else that's you know from the past history get removed, you could you could clear from that personalization settings. So hopefully that makes sense. So try it out and see how it works for you. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.